Hello, Kindred. I trust that you are taking care moment by moment, day by day, as much as possible, along with your family, that they are taking care moment by moment and day by day. And most importantly, that we are all staying safe. So it is now early morning, dawn, if you will, right before the sun rises here in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, it's a day after the ruling by the Attorney General of Kentucky regarding Breonna Taylor and the three officers that um, murdered her. And first and foremost, I want to extend my condolences. I want to extend my thoughts and prayers to Breonna Taylor's family, her nuclear family, those closest to her family, friends, They have been living through this since March 13th, and none of us can imagine, except those that have walked this specific walk as they have, which is too many, regarding losing um, a loved one um, in this manner. And so my... Thoughts and prayers go out to her mother. My thoughts and prayers go out to her entire family regarding uh, just the unfolding of all of this. And again, cannot even fathom or imagine uh, all of what you are going through and will continue to go through in terms of this all too familiar road and to the collective family, those that rally around Brianna Taylor's family and to us as a collective family. I feel you. I see you. I am you. And so much like you, um, There's a range of emotions. There's shock, once again, while necessarily not surprised, many of us were not, there's still that shock. There's still the hurt. There's the anger. There's the disappointment. There's a sense of um, deep, deep, deep sadness And all very, very valid in terms of how we feel. Again, just not being surprised because this is just too familiar. And it doesn't make it right. It's not right at all, but it's just too familiar of this type of unfolding for us as a people. And so I woke up just feeling very heavy and had to express in some form, in a healthy form, what I was feeling. And in doing so, really reflect. And so these are my words. One is, please, please, please take care of yourself. And when I say take care of yourself, this idea of feeling, allowing yourself to feel all of what you're feeling, there's a range of feelings, there's a spectrum of feelings, allowing yourself that, um, giving yourself permission to be able to do that, not just picking up and, and moving on. Even in the workplace, this idea of just, you know, we just gotta push through it. No, don't push through it. Don't push through it. And in feeling this idea of expressing how you feel, talk to somebody, cry, um, creatively express, write or draw. Um, Some of us have to uh, move. 
whether that be exercise or just the idea of moving the body. In terms of talking to someone, definitely talk within our communities. But if you need to talk to a professional, definitely do that. A licensed therapist. And in feeling and in expressing this idea of breathing, but it goes beyond um, that of breath, inhaling and exhaling, but allowing yourself space, allowing yourself space to feel and to express, particularly as we continue to grieve and lament. Because that's what's going on here. And so... In feeling, in breathing, in expressing, allow yourself time and space to rest. And rest is not necessarily all about sleeping. We need to rethink that. And that's in the words of Trisha Hershey Hershey of the NAP ministry. It's not just about sleeping. It's about the idea of We are no longer going to uh, walk the line of this grind culture of being able to just sit and to be. To sit and to be and to allow ourselves to take care of us, to tend to us, to tend to you. And so part of that tending, part of that taking care is practicing and going to those practices that ground you. Again, that's many different things for many different people. And so my prayer, my thoughts are that as we continue to go through these peculiar times, that you are taking care and tending to yourself. And for me, in terms of taking care and tending is Grounding in my faith, along with movement and creativity, and even in the midst of this, being able to celebrate um, life and celebrate life around me, knowing that Brianna Taylor is watching over us as our all of our ancestors are, and so. It's about feeling, it's about expressing, it's about breathing, it's about resting, and doing that in those practices that ground us. And when I woke up, there were two things that came to mind. One is Psalms 139, this sense of the fact that we are divine creatures and we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And she was a beautiful woman. She is a beautiful woman. And to honor her, to not forget her, is so important as we should not forget so many others that have been perpetrated upon in this fashion and in knowing her beauty and the fact that she was a divine creature, she is divine. We are divine. Black woman, you are divine. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I may not need to say that, but I do need to say that because I needed to say it to myself. And in knowing that we are walking in her light We are walking in the light and she is urging us on as many of our ancestors are to continue on. I hear their voices. I feel their presence. They're over our heads. They're all around us. And so That is my offering. That was my expression. It is my expression. And that's my offering to you. An invitation to take the offering or not. But it helped me. It continues to help me to go to these practices of my faith and bringing to memory 
reading out loud words of comfort, words of affirmation, and that of the voice and the song, songs that have been with me since childhood. But I don't want to leave it there. As we feel, as we express, as we breathe, as we rest, there's a sense of deeper rest, deeper healing, deeper perspective, a deeper purpose, and more importantly, a deeper resolve, a deeper resolve to show up for ourselves, show up for our families, and then show up in the world. And and what I mean by that is acting. We don't want to spiritually bypass this. And we do this in two ways. One is about strategically organizing and doing the work. And that's done in many different forms. We need organization inside these systems. And we need organization outside of these systems. And when I say organization, organization to disrupt, dismantle. We need both. We need for those, whether you're on the inside or the outside, to use whatever influence that you have, whatever platform that you have, to shine light on these injustices, to continue to shine light on these injustices, to add pressure, to add accountability, to demand accountability, to add pressure And in disrupting by way of our sphere of influence, our sphere in terms of our platform, our sphere in terms of what we can do, what we can touch, which again is many different ways on the inside and on the outside, that we be consistent. This is a long road. It has been. It has been a long road and many have tried this road. It is our time. It has been our time now. And so we have to be consistent. And after the cameras have gone away, we still have to do the work. The news has gone on to the next headline. But the reality is still there. So we have to be consistent. And in doing that, we act. So again, please, please take care of yourself. Ground yourself in those practices that bring you a sense of tending to, a sense of care to yourself. And I love you. I love you, Kindred. I love you, my sister, my black sister, my beautiful Nubian sisters. And we speak her name, Brianna Taylor. We speak the names of so many. We honor you. Psalms 139. O Lord, You have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. You hem me in behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there 
Your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you would slay the wicked, O God. Away from me, you bloodthirsty men. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord, and abhor those who rise up against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. We'll walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world, will walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright, shine all around us. By day and by night, Jesus, the light of the world, will walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright, shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world, over my head I hear music in the air over my head I hear music in the air over my head I hear music in the air there must be a God somewhere over my head. I hear singing in the air over my head. I hear singing in 
there must be a God somewhere over my head. I hear glory in the air over my head. I hear glory in the air over my head. I hear glory in the air. There must be a God May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.